Hi, this is Linda Price, and uh, I just wanted to do a video of my latest tatted journal. And um, I wanted to do a flip through so you could actually see the pages. And um, I put it on uh, some of my Facebook uh, groups yesterday, but I wanted to show it a little more in, in uh, depth on the video. As you can see more of what's in the book and um, this is the cover I put the tatting down this way and then I put another um, length of tatting right here and uh, tatting is not easy uh, you don't have a lot of people tatting I think we're getting more since I put some videos on there I think more people have been looking at it and trying it and being surprised that they can um, do the needle tatting. And uh, so I'm glad that people are learning this. But I, um, right here, I've got the front cover and a little, a little tatted flower in the middle here, and then the medallion here, and then I just put a pretty stone in the middle. And these are the dangles at the bottom that I added. And I just added this little piece of uh, paper right there you don't have to have that there. I just added it just to give it a little more interest. So um, let me just go through this book now. And this is a stretchy, a stretchy, the only, the only lace other, other than the tatting that I used is this stretchy lace to hold it closed. And then in the inside cover, I had this piece of lace and the back cover, I had this piece right here. Otherwise, all there is is my tatting in here. So this is the first page, and I used a lot of Tsunami Roses uh, papers from different collections, not from the same collection, but um, I just like her papers and uh, downloadable papers. So you can go to her website and uh, see what the papers she has, and she does have some new, new things in there right now. And she is having a sale. So I will put that in the bottom of the um, description so you can go to her website and see it. Since this is a Tsunami Rose design team uh, project. So and this is, well, this came out here. Um, I added I added some stenciling on my pages just for interest. I thought it was a pretty kind of like a, a very muted stencil. You can still write on this page. But these are these are some of the Tsunami Rose new new tags. And I did my double tatted um, row here with my, my tags, the tatted tag toppers. And this is a little envelope with a, some papers in it that I put here and then a tatted flower here and also I put a tag in here tsunami rose tag and this is this is also another envelope that you can flip over here and then also on my pages you, you can there's also room to put items inside and uh, so a lot of my pages have that this page also has it right here and this right here is a page I put this little tag in here with my purple tatted flower. And this is a little um, booklet that I've... Oh, I need to put some... I'm going to put, I'm going to put tags in here. So I'm sorry I forgot to do that, but I will do that. And if you're interested in this, this is for sale. And uh, some more stenciling, and another uh, 
envelope with some more Tsunami Rose um, postcards. And I've also used her pages. Her pages are so colorful. They, they just really pretty much go together very easily. This is another uh, like a tag that I I put some music in here that you can open up and you can uh, journal on also. And then I also added some more. Well, I forgot to show you this too. I added I added several lengths of tatting and uh, this takes time to to tap a, a length like this and so um but i think it just adds so much to the the look of the book and makes it dainty looking i think another page with uh stenciling and this is a new um uh, color that i got i've, I've been ordering some new um colors from Elizabeth Thread and this is a peach you can see the peach here and I'm going to be putting sets of these different colors on uh, the boutique junk journal junkies boutique I've, I've uh, sold several sets people are looking for specific colors and uh, so I'm trying to put different colors on there so another page that I stenciled but you can still write on it and then this is a little pocket that I'll put this in. And if somebody's sewing, I've got a couple of pictures in here, like this one back here was of somebody doing some work, sewing work, hand sewing. And that's what I like to do is hand work. I really enjoy that. Another page of the stenciling. And then I emboss this in the back. And here's another... Um, little booklet. Let me just undo this one. I'm pretty sure I have tags in here. Yes, I do. And I put little tatted flowers, the small flowers at the tops of these. So you can see how they're done like that. And then another one of my tag toppers with a double, the double tatting here, double row. So also here's some more inside pockets and some more journaling and uh, more tags that I just a little one you can open up and journal on and. And then a Tsunami Rose paper in the back. And more stenciling. And here's a uh, little place to do some more journaling. Maybe some hidden little... Um, Places that you want to just keep some things, special little notes. And this is a Tsunami Rose um, combination here, too. And my tatting here. And more places in here. And more stenciling. And another tag here with the uh, teal colored uh, tatting. And this is like a double page. I put some tatting here. You can see this. Uh, I think I took a, a close up of this of this tatting in my pictures. And more of the tag toppers. And more. These are some more of the Tsunami Rose. I like these. They just go with anything. They're the black and the cream. And you can put them in any any color combination. And another little... You can use the tag toppers for different ways of, uh, 
of showing them too. And here's another um, little book, little booklet. Let me just put that over there. And then this one here. And another page of journaling. And another little tuck here with, I tried to match the um, tatting colors to what was going on in the page just to give it variety. I, I like the, I, I use the off-white all the time pretty much, but I do try to combine the other colors too because I think it just adds interest. Another Tsunami Rose. This is actually an envelope, but I used it as a just a place to put tags. Another page to journal. Another one of my tatted lengths that I did. And I use these instead of, I have tons of lace, I really do, but I just have decided to do some of these journals with just the tatting because I think some people really appreciate tatting and, you know, it brings back memories of when their grandmother or their aunt or their mom or whoever they were in their family used to do it. And um, a lot of people regret, well, I mean, when you're, when you're young, you, you don't really have the patience that you do when you get older. So if somebody tried to teach me when I was younger, I probably would not have stuck with it and, and did it. But since I learned when I was in my 40s, I'm now in my 70s, so I've been doing it a while. Um, you know, I was determined to, to learn how to do this. And uh, another one of the tags. And then one of these little tatted trims right down here. Another page of a um, journal page. And this is one of the this is one of the uh, variegated uh, tatted, tatted uh, threads, and uh, I, th I like those too. Here's some more tags. And somebody had said that they really liked the use of the um, these SNH green stamps, but that's what Tsunami Rose has done. Um, Daisy has put some of these on pages and it reminds me of when I was a kid my mother used to collect SNH green stamps and she had books and books and books of them and she used them and she bought a lot of uh, she got a lot of things using those books and here's here's somebody a mother teaching her daughter the sewing and her daughter's watching her so you know that that's part of growing up mom showing their children how to do things and um more stenciling and pages and more tags and I use this well I guess this is a little piece of crocheted probably from a doily and I put the tatting up here just to give it a little bit different look so you can kind of um, go through my journals and my other um, videos and see how I did use the tatting. I use it all different ways. Now I do have um, on my Etsy, this this also is on my Etsy, this book. I put it on my Etsy. I don't usually do that, but I did this time. I also have papers that if you don't want to learn how to tat, but you like the look of tatting, you can download these papers just like you can download other papers for um, backgrounds. And I've got a lot of tatting papers papers for this one I made out I made it into a little envelope and that's that's one of these papers and here's another little booklet that I made and I also put the little tatted flowers at the top and made those out of pages from books And then another tatted flower down here. And then more of this tatting here. And then some more tags. And I wanted to show I wanted to show this page because I'm from Portland, Maine. 
and one of Daisy's uh, kits had this page in it from Portland, Maine. And I know this was way back in the probably 1800s, but, um, you know, that put that in there. And I like to use that page because it reminds me of home. I go back there every summer. I don't go there in the winter because it's not the place to go in the winter, but the summers are beautiful up there. I, and Portland is right on the coast and it's a wonderful tourist attraction. It's, it's got, I, I think they've got, they're one of the cities that has the best restaurants in all of the United States. I've seen them. They have won these uh, awards for restaurants. So um, it's a wonderful place to go. And it's near Kenny Bunkport where, you know, the bushes have their compound. And it's a very, it's a, it's a small town. It's still small, but it has so many sh little shops and just wonderful places to visit and, uh, and buy a lot of locally made handcrafts. And that's why I like to go up there too. And it's about, I guess, maybe 40 miles away from New York, I mean, from uh, Portland to go to visit there. And so we, we normally, when we go up there in the summer, we'll, we'll run over there for one day and uh, visit there too. So, and here's also my tatted, tatted topper. I put it on the little doily there. And... Then the last page, here's another little booklet with some, and like I said, I've got one that doesn't have these little tags in here, but I will put them in that book, just like I have everything else. I must have missed that somehow, and it's got a little um, place, a closure here like that, and then that's, that goes up here, and that's the last page, and uh, so this is my, um, and I also did another length of tatting here. I did a one, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven of these lengths of tatting. So you can imagine if you put them uh, end to end, how much tatting that would be. That's a lot of tatting. And I, but I just love the look of that. And this is the back of the book. It's just a very pretty, I like just plain pages. That's why I thought if I put this on the front, it might just add a little bit of interest to it. Or you don't have to have that. I think it, it looks good also with just the closure. Let me put that back on there again for you. You can see what it looks like without that. And, uh... So tatting is time consuming, but if you enjoy that type of work, it's fun. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a beautiful um, way of bringing back almost a lost art. You know, um, I've, I've read a lot about tatting and uh, a couple of things I read was the way it started was these fishermen had to uh, had to weave their nets in a way that they wouldn't break because fish if you get a lot of fish in a net it could actually it could really break so they they would re weave their ropes with these knots and so I guess along the way somebody's wife saw that and thought hmm. If I took smaller thread and did that same thing, maybe it would be pretty. And so that's pretty much where tatting came from, was, was uh, the fishermen uh, actually started it. But then the, the wives got a, a, a hold of it and started coming up with different designs. And I pretty much do basic. This is basic. And this is also, I have three videos so far in uh, in my um, YouTube uh, channel showing different things that I've made with the tatting and also a basic tatting video that will show you how to do this and you can get fancy you can get you can get uh, patterns you can get books of patterns and they also have a lot of um, tatting 
groups, which I'm a member of, and I mean, they do beautiful things, but they would take a long time to do, and I just like to get things that don't take so long and uh, be able to use them in my other craft arts and crafts. And that was the purpose of, of me, of me doing not to make doilies because you know, doilies get put in a drawer and uh, not used. And, but this way you can uh, put your handwork on something that can be a gift or a, a journal is definitely going to be used. And it's going to be passed down, too, with all of what you have to say in there. Your family will read your writings if you, if you want them to. <laughs> and, but, but that's pretty much what journaling is for, to just be able to see our lives and what, what our lives were like. And that's why we, we journal. And, so, um, and then our family can uh, also see the tatting, if, if, you, if you tat putting it in your journals, and um, some of it doesn't take a long time. Uh, that's why I'm doing these little videos to show the different little pieces. And I also sell a set on uh, the junk Journal Junkies Boutique of different colors that you can um, actually, if you want to see firsthand, what a, I mean, you know, you really can't see it like it really is, even with a video. But if you're holding it in your hand and you can feel it, I like to, you know, some people stiffen this. I don't like the stiff, stiffness of tatting. I just think it takes away from the beauty of it. I like it to where it's soft. And depending on the, on the fibers you get, the, um, this, this is a number 10, pretty much a number 10 thread. But if you use 20, it's twice as small. And of course, it's going to take you twice as long to do something. Because it's twice as small, these would be a whole lot smaller than they are. And um, also using smaller thread is easier to get knots and uh, get it tangled and get it um, curling around. And uh, the bigger the thread, but I don't go any, any uh, higher than a 10. And also I use a size 5 needle. Because if you don't use, if you use a 3 needle, that goes with the size 20 thread. And that's what makes it small. But there's also a size 7 needle, and it's more like a macrame look if you, if you use the size 7. And if you like that look, you can use a size 7, depending what, what you want to do. I mean, you could do like pots. You know how they used to have the macrame? Um, uh, they, would, they would make these macrame um, ribbons that they could put the pots in that you would have... Um, your ivy and different different kind of flowering things or vines and I, that's what i picture using the size seven for our bigger uh fatter looking tatting but to me as the fatter it gets and the, the bigger it gets it loses that delicate look and the, the size 20 if you really want a delicate look then you want to use the size 20 but you can't start that way you have to start with a size 10 um, thread and the size five needle and otherwise it's going to be very difficult to work with a smaller uh, so that's what I would I would recommend and I think I've told um, that in my videos too but I just wanted to show this to you and um, hope you liked it and thank you for subscribing to my channel I just hope we get a lot of people tatting again and uh, keeping it up and I know a lot of people that took lessons from me in the past, but they didn't keep it up. And you can lose you can lose what you've learned if you don't if you don't do it. You know how it is when you knit and crochet. I know I don't crochet much and I have to go back and figure out exactly what I have to do. I can't just pick it up and do it. And you can't with tatting either. So you have to keep keep at it, keep working it. And um I have a friend who just uh she found a um tatted pattern for little baby booties and she made this really cute pair of baby booties and I don't know I probably wouldn't have the patience to do that I do have patience but not for something like that but she does so everybody's got a different uh, way of looking at this and um, she now I've have a pattern for a 
a little uh, bonnet and she would like I'm going to send her that pattern and um, she's going to make a matching bonnet to it so I mean there's all kinds of things you can do and since we're all into these journals this is the way to do it for the journals so thank you very much for looking and um, this is for sale in my Etsy and I'll put my Etsy um, address in the description and uh, I hope to see you again and I'll put another tatting video on there for something different. I know somebody wants me to do this this length. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's just a repetition. I'll probably maybe do uh, maybe six of them. But then you just keep doing it and, and, and just doing it until the length you, you come to the length you want. And so I'm going to, that's my next video. So thank you and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.